everyone welcome back to my channel so today's wig is from ox eye girl um this is a 24 inch water wave wig um with a 13 by 4 lace front and it comes in 180 density so i'm just gonna start with the install i usually start by cutting off the air tabs just to make sure that the wig fits my head correctly After that I'm applying my Ebon Lace Gel, I prefer this because I have to change wigs so often, it's really easy to take off and it doesn't mess with my edges so my edges are nice and full after I've taken it off. I go over the top of it with the black Ebon Spray because I just feel like it helps with the melt. Next, I just apply the lace over where I've put all the glue um, and I think I should have actually left it a little bit more to become tacky just because the lace was kind of lifting up off the glue and I had to press it back in. Usually once it touches the glue, it just stays down, it stays tacky. Um, but yeah, even if it's not, like it's fine. I just pressed it in and blow dried it a little bit and then I put on my melt band. <laughs> just cutting off the excess lace and I like to do this in a zigzag motion because I feel it just makes it look more natural because you don't have that harsh straight line going around your forehead it also makes it easier to blend when you have lace that doesn't quite match your skin tone like this one this is quite light on my skin so cutting in a zigzag motion kind of just helps it to blend all the more <laughs> top of it with the black ebon spray again just to help with the overall melt and like those white edges that you can see um it didn't help it go away completely so i still added some makeup later on but it did help um with the color a little bit as you can see and then i'm just pressing it in with my rat tail comb and then applying my melt band once again just so everything can get settled in <laughs> bronzer actually i feel like when you put your foundation on the lace it kind of doesn't match your skin as much but if you put your bronzer which you usually put around your forehead it helps to melt it a little bit more than foundation would because foundation would be like a shade too light and i'm just you know um separating out the baby hairs i kind of went for a dramatic baby hair look you know don't mind how the baby hairs are looking i'm usually a no baby hair a no, i'm usually a no baby hair girl i'm just starting out doing baby hair so don't judge but i think they turned out not too bad so here i'm just plucking the baby hairs some more because they were kind of thick they was kind of thick, so I'm just plucking it out to thin it a bit more. And then I'm hot combing the baby hairs. I think it just kind of helps it lay better especially when you've had 
the melt band going over the front edges backwards when you hot comb it forwards it just helps it it just helps making it just helps when you're laying that baby hairs actually because it helps them lie forward you know with less effort with a an eyebrow razor and I cut it from underneath not on top because I feel like this just makes it look a lot more natural when you cut with a razor from underneath what happens is you kind of get different lengths in the baby hair as opposed to cutting it with a scissors like in a straight line which kind of just makes it look less natural because your actual baby hairs like your edges in the front they're not all one length so when you cut your baby hairs, you know, with a razor and they're all not one length, it just kind of makes it look a bit more natural. Even if you're going for like a more dramatic baby hair look, it just makes them look not as thick and fake. And then I curl my baby hairs upwards and then I do the sideburns downwards. Um, I just feel like it's easier for me to lay this way when I do the baby hairs up and the side bends down and I like to lay my baby hairs with um, foaming mousse um, I feel like it just you know instead of got to be it just helps it be more pliable for longer and I can manipulate it more like even after I've laid it you'll see that you know I noticed some of the hairs were just a bit too long so I went back in to trim them with my razor and I didn't have to put you know too much product on it again after I had already laid it so yeah mousse is my favorite and it also makes your baby hairs soft after you've laid them so if you want the fluffy baby hair look you can go in afterwards and just brush it with your edge brush after the baby hairs have been laid and you'll get that fluffy nice and fluffy baby hair look
just hot combing the hair in the direction that I want it to go and I felt like doing a free part which I don't usually do like a free part side part kind of look um, I just felt like it would go really nice with the hair texture it's a really beautiful hair texture perfect for like vacations or summertime it just gives like island vibes you know and I just think it's so cute so yeah just doing a free part <laughs> spray bottle and in my spray bottle is just some water and a little bit of leave-in conditioner because i just feel like curly hair it just needs it needs all the help and all you know the conditioning that it can get so i just mix like two parts water and one part leave-in conditioner and i spray that all over the hair and brush it through to just help define the curls a little bit more <laughs> Make sure to saturate the ends because those are the parts that you really really want to find and then i go over top of it with some more leave-in conditioner because why not and the leave-in conditioner i love to use is the um the same brand that does the silicone mix they have a leave-in conditioner as well and i just think it's perfect for any curly or wavy textured hair um, as you can see, it's just kind of helping all the curls clump together all the more and just, you know, giving it some nice texture or rather bringing out the niceness in the hair texture. And every time I apply a product, I always brush it through just to make sure that it gets onto all the hair strands and just to help define it a little bit more. <laughs> adjusting the part so it kind of flows with the baby hair that I did as you can see um, and then just hot combing it you know because I kind of messed it up a little bit so just to neaten it up a little bit and I think after this I did go back in and add some more um, mousse to the hair just as a final touch I usually do leave-in conditioner water and mousse with my curly hair textures um, and yeah so that's pretty much it i will let you guys enjoy the rest of the video and i will catch you in my next video bye